Hey all, welcome to Kuira Kancha Temple, the second location of the Antiquist line. So in the previous mine we found the priest of Inti and in this mine as most cards we are going to find the plate pieces. All six of them will be in this location. So let's get started. I can see a cave and some other places as well. Mm, nothing much, just a cave after doing some extra tiles. And those extra tiles include 14,000 god tiles. So that's a lot of energy required. Uh, speaking of that, the location is 653 tiles long and will cost around 166. Sorry, 1.66 million energy if you want to clear it completely. So, there won't be a lot of god, uh, god tiles compared to the energy required. Inside the cave, probably we'll have some cheap tiles. That's my guess. Mm. Okay, pretty okay tiles. Not very cheap, not very costly either. Anyway, in fact, I will classify them as cheap for new world. Okay, so we are going to meet the ghost or something. We got to open the doors first. This looks interesting. We have some symbols to place some stones on, some hidden tiles, some mirrors, some lasers. Okay, let me try placing it on the uh, symbol that opens a few gates and unlocks a few mirrors. We have a red receiver here, we have a yellow light but a red receiver. So somewhere there must be a converter as well. The bridge is broken, we can't go anywhere from there. So I don't see a clear way of placing it on the symbol. Mm, no, I don't see any way at all. So I'm going to proceed with the further things. This one I'm not sure either. Let me just take the tiles first. Again a broken bridge on the right side. So yes, pushing this from top, I can place it on the symbol. More gates unlock and this time it's a blue receiver. So things are getting more interesting. We don't have any converters. We have a yellow light. Okay, we have a blue light as well on the right side. We can of course interrupt the yellow light to activate that yellow receiver that opened one gate. So it seems like we have four such receivers and there will be four such gates. I mean four such receivers will activate four such gates. Okay, there is nothing much interesting in this complete area. I thought there must be something like some more mirrors or something, but turns out nothing much. Let's see what we have here. Hmm, a god child, interesting. There are actually a lot of hidden walls here, so make sure you get them all.
okay one of the portions of the bridge got built with that lever so that way we have such levers on all four sides here we are at the top left bottom left and right top right bottom whatever but with that bridge i can actually place that stone on that mark okay those stones on the marks they simply unlock the receivers and the mirrors So we have actually unlocked all four mirrors and receivers. We need more things. We need to activate the receivers somehow. There are three different colors. We need to convert it somehow. Here we have red and green. So we don't need a converter. We actually have all the colors. We just need to point them in the right direction. Okay, we have two mirrors that is enough to activate that so nice job but the thing is we cannot deactivate it once we activate so we cannot reuse the mirrors so we have to be careful with using the mirrors they are limited in number there goes the second gate now we missed the complete area here this is going to lead us to the right side so that see the gate on the left is locked for now somehow we can unlock it but yet to figure out how okay that one actually unlocked on the left side so we are probably reaching both sides of this island or this side I would say okay we do have a lot of mirrors here so not like a mirror limitation I would I would not see but let's see more hidden tiles there are some fixed hinge mirrors and we need two mirrors in between the fixed ones that will be enough we have hidden tiles here that i missed and once we do those hidden tiles then there would be a clear way for that green light to pass no mirror shortage whatsoever for now pushing this to the end and one more which we have now on to the other side this location has actually been very interesting i'm loving it we have a lot of hidden walls and mirror puzzles from corners to the centers so pretty interesting location overall let's see how much interesting it can get this is just the beginning we probably have many other things 653 tiles is not too less but not too much either but anyway we would expect at least one more such puzzle a uh, difficult one maybe 
or now we are playing with the mirrors we have a hidden tile there which i'm going to take now that takes us directly near the receiver we have a mirror there and hence no shortage this is the fourth and the last one this ball i'm moving out of the way uh, i am pretty sure there will be some hidden bonus here I'll figure out what the hidden bonus is in some time. But for now, time to activate the receiver. There goes the fourth and the last gate. So, let's see. There are four symbols, but we only have two such rope balls, so they are not probably the ones that will go on these. The stones instead, they can go on these threads or I don't know what exactly, but maybe nails or threads or just pieces of something. Pretty sure there is some kind of bonus here because there are four in number and we have four stones as well. So we did not even need to place the fourth stone. Somehow it just gave the bonus on three stones. We have a fourth set and I don't know. I don't think we have to place it there. We got the bonus at 3. Maybe that's a programming mistake, a glitch from their part. Yes, placing it on the 4th did nothing. Anyway, I don't think there is anything with the rope balls. I'll figure that out uh, afterwards if there is something. But we have missed a few tiles here and I am not sure how to reach them. I am not seeing any way. Oh, that's a hidden tile. That, I just completely missed it. We had such a hidden tile on the bottom left side as well. Okay, up next up we have interesting. He thinks it's boring and we are going to make it interesting. But this was totally not boring for me. Now we have six people with six symbols and each of them wants something. And we have a lot of scrap and we have to find the key in that. Perhaps in exchange of this, they are going to give us a key to the plate piece. My guess. This scrap is uh, like a hidden maze. You have to follow exactly one path. Only then you will be able to reach the end. So not like you can go straight. You have to go round and round to reach the end. I'm pretty sure we are not allowed from this way either. But in fact, we were allowed. I thought we would just go around to get the key. Anyway, we got the key. So that was pretty easy. Let's return the key.
and he has unlocked those levers for us and the levers behind the bars is one of the plate pieces so pretty much that's about it we have six such tasks and each of them will give a plate piece and then we are done with this level okay so lost in the dark and we are going to spread light with the mirrors there is a little lack of space i would say but not very hard to figure out this part i will have to do in the end because we will need a mirror here on the top right and once we place a mirror there then we will not be able to get out so that one we have to do it in the last this is the receiver which once activated will spread the light in the corners and building a reverse path from the ending to the beginning because as i already said we have to place a mirror in the beginning in the end because it just blocks the way going good so far and now time for the final mirror hmm interesting i don't see a lot of room here but yeah, it should be possible hmm push it in no i will take it in here and push it up yeah that would be it he got his roses and has given us a plate piece the second one the third one and what does he want well let me talk to him first ugly things cover them up with something all right the something to cover up with is obviously a stone but again how do i take it up of course i will have to take it to the left there is no other way to take it up this is how you take it up this one i can take it down instead so for a ghost these flowers look like a ugly thing from a ghost perspective we have one in the corner there and i'll have to take one of these stones from up here mm, i don't know 
I'm not even sure if flowers was the right choice because it surely does not look like. So I'm going to change my choice. The bones, they do look like the ugly thing. And there are four of them. So now I'm pretty sure it is the bone which is the ugly thing. Now the stone just does not go there. This way we can take it there. But then we'll have to use the other stone to bring down here. Never mind. Let me just place it here first. Then I'll figure that out. Now this way we have to push it inside and for that we took it all the way back just to be able to push it inside interesting not a very easy stone puzzle either this one also I'm taking down here we have a bone down there then the only remaining stone we can easily figure out pretty much. So let's see, we can push it one down and then push it one left. It was that easy. Maybe it looked hard because of that existing stone earlier. Oh wow, wait. Now the ghost has said that we have to cover the flowers. So flowers was actually the right choice. Maybe the game wanted us to cover the bones first and then when he says the flowers, then we have to cover the flowers. Interesting. Um, how, I, saw, I somehow might have counted wrong earlier because initially I was trying to put them on the flowers itself. But I somehow thought that bones was the ugly thing. Anyway, we have just placed it on the flowers and we are done. I mean not done, we are done with this ghost. And more plate piece. Pretty much we can see the body of Inti. Some side parts, three of them remaining. Let's get them. Looks like we have a pit puzzle down there. And we need to find a book somewhere around here. So let's have the big puzzle. Uh, easy or hard, I don't know, but looks like easy. We just have to pull that triangle down, put it there. And then we have an easy star to place. Then circle you can take from outside. Oh, there is a circle here itself, no need to go outside at all. Now we need a triangle, we have a triangle available. Okay, next up is a circle, now reaching it there is not an issue either, we just have to move this out. Just to make a rotating space for us. So now we can push it here and then go around. Again go around and push it onto the circle. Next up we have a line. But not this way, we will have to pull it inside and I went back and again it looks like trouble, I can't do anything till we have this star. So now I am moving the star out and now placing the line, then finally the star. That's the book the ghost was seeking. Let's return it and get our great piece. The book was in not a very good position, so he was complaining. But he nevertheless gave us the great piece, so that's all we need. 
Turn your feet on every place, follow the path. Looks like we are following a path. There is no definite marked path. Something related to the blazes here. The fires. Mm, let me just talk to the ghost once again and find out what exactly this is about. Follow the path to next light. Do not seek ones that do not ignite. Interesting. So we are going straight to to the ones that are lit that will be here on the right but we are crossing the ones that are not ignited as well but I think that is fine mm, now I should go top or to the right to the right there is an ignited one as well mm, I'm not exactly sure not seek for once okay i'm going to try both ways for now i'm going to jumping from right to light taking a straight path to the next light hmm, now how will i go there no that is not the way because we did not take a path to the ignited light we took one straight to the non ignited one, but since that was the only path, I'm going to try it again. And we were here successfully, the gate was still open. Mm, there we go. Just had to take a shortcut from one tile up. That was all. Now the gate closed, but we don't care. We have already did the job and we have got the plate piece so last step i think we have some stones to place on the mark a really stupid thing for a ghost to ask but yeah there might be reasons behind that no questions he is giving us the plate piece, so we are going to do him whatever he wants. And the gear is expert in moving the stones, so not an issue either. Let's see. We do have a lot of stones. There might be a trouble here. Maybe a lack of space. I am going to do the corners first. So we don't really feel the lack of space. So that was another corner. Now we have three more. Not three. We have several more. is one good corner I'm going to leave it there because the other spot we can cover from the downside or I'm going to do one thing I'm going to pull the lower one and then push another one onto its spot but before that we have one stone down here and one spot down there that completes all the stones in the harder part, I think. Push it in, and the other one it will be easy to place on the mark. Okay, 
okay poor ghost he could not move them because he was a ghost anyway we are done all the plate pieces are ours and that would be the end of quest after these tiles quest end of quest is there but we still need some tiles so going to find the tiles now where are the tiles i don't see them might have to use the last tile finder but let me have a quick look earlier we should see the tiles they are significant in number maybe one of the hidden tiles since we have the last tile finder then why not here is one tile okay they are scattered maybe and it's taking us to hidden tile and here are all of them so that's not it i have something else to show you but before that let me complete the quest taking a long time to load and loaded the character still did not load they are loading slowly but here isn't it pressed that's the end of the quest now i had missed a bonus that i'm going to cover now the two rope balls here they are actually a bonus i did see it later not when i was doing it the bonus was not in this area it was up here which is why i did not notice it at first sight but eventually yes i found it and happy to show it to you as well but we have to push it up instead of pulling mm, this push pull games they can be interesting at times okay ropes on the ropes that is a perfect combination which i did not notice anyway and there that you can see it now let us spot it Again, I was making the same mistake. I have to push it up instead of pulling. If I pull, then there is no way I can get them on the ropes. So this will be it. Lot of bonus. So thank you for watching. See you in the next location.